Well, the chair was a pretty fun build. As you can see behind me, there's a, a really comfy, ergonomically designed chair made for your comfort. We have a torture chair, and I started thinking about what that could be. I started thinking about 1920s, 1940s dentist chair, so we decided to build one from scratch. We started looking through a junkyard there, and we actually just started torching apart everything that uh, we wanted. So we used an old tractor wheel for the base. We have some barbed wire on it. Uh, we used a couple of tractor seats. We wanted to have some good pivot points, so we made sure to have a pivot at the back of his neck so he could really lay his head back and waterboard him. We also found a seat belt. We bolted the seat belt to a tractor seat, and that clips right across his forehead. So we literally just cut that out of an old truck. And then for the arms, it was a tiller that was shaped just like an elbow. So we cut that, I took some raw plate steel, put the hands on it, and then we took U-bolts from an axle that holds onto the leaf springs. And the U-bolts slide over the wrist and hold his wrist in place. My body, after a while, began to sort of form to the chair. It didn't feel like it was meant for a human to sit in, but eventually my body kind of like adapted to it. And now there's like sort of a permanent impression of the chair um, sort of that I carry around with me all the time. So there's a key sequence in this movie where this chair comes into play um, for my character. And I'll tell you now, that chair, it's not hard to really feel it when you're in that chair. Without spoiling anything, lots of really, really terrifying things happen in that chair. And I just had a blast in that chair, and I can't wait to revisit that chair. And I'm hoping I can take it home with me at the end of the shoot.